So we've opened it up a little bit. As you can see, the window will come out now. That is what is behind the plaster, which is a huge, great nothing. So we'll probably put some insulation behind there so that not all the heat goes up the void from the radiator. Right, and there we have the hole. Now, now what we've got to do is, this week is fill it. Now, the house is from the mid to early 1800s. And as you can see, there's a solid wall, then there's a gap, then there's a batten, then there's lath and plaster there. So that's the way they're all meant. And the reason for this gap Right, the first thing I've done after I've got all the wood cut roughly to size is I've cut out the pulley housings. Now but for that I use a template as you can see. This one um, I've buggered up. I make it myself. Now that there fits in the pulley, the um, parting bead slot. Now this is normally put on like that so that we can cut out, so it's normally put on at the end there like that, so that we can cut that out uh, for normal uh, sa normal sash windows. However, because these are um, Venetian windows, then we have to cut them up there. Yeah? And the reason we do that is so that the pulley housing has something to uh, to sit on there and there, which you'll see in which you'll see in a second there and there. You'll see in a second but it has to go all the way up to the, to, the, to the top. In some instances, you have to have it there. You see that line there? That line makes sure that, that you've only, that the, the pulley 
actually sticks out and I'll show you that in a second. It's all done with a little handheld router with a, a hinge, uh, hinge bit um, with, with, with bearing and that slips in into that hole there and is guided and if you don't take it out if you take it out too soon or you slip that's when you bugger up your template so I'll be making another one of those tomorrow won't need it today so the pulleys are, are in everything is dry at the moment so they're in just make to make shape now what I've done is I've marked out where I want the pockets to go and so there you can see it and these are going to be the center uh, muntins, muntins sorry. Um, and uh, so there they've got the slot on both sides that, that'll become apparent shortly. The hinges at the top. Uh, hinges, my eyes. Um, we've done the pulleys at the, at the top. Now what we've got to do is cut out the pockets. Now the pockets always go on the bottom sash. Yeah, uh, on the bo uh, bottom sash of the style. So what we've done is we've already cut out the. Um, one way that way, all the way halfway through, then one way this way, halfway through, all the way up to there, and then this one you'll, you'll notice is cut at an angle, and this one is straight. So exactly the same same thing, that one's been cut like that, but that one has been cut like that. Now, if all goes well, if all goes well, this should come out, and be able to lock back in again. All we do for that is we've got to do the back cut. Imagine that this is um, the, uh, uh, the pulley style, the, pull, the um, pulleys are at the top. This is the pocket that allows you to get into the weights. And that fits in there, goes down, and once it's had a little bit of a shave, that will slip in there. You see there's a lump of wood sticking out there, that's why that didn't go in. That goes in there, that goes in there, and now when the parting bead comes in here, that's locked in place. But when you need to get to the weights, all you do is you lift it out and that hook at the top and ensure that it stays in place. You don't need any nails or screws or anything like that. All this at the moment is dry. What we've got to do is we've got, we've got to give it a uh, a, a, a bit of a sand, and then we um, uh, we put preservative on it. Yeah. So that's that one. So we've got a. Those are for the outer uh, outer styles. These are the inner styles, and they have they are machined on both sides. Because they have to take a parting bead on each side. Whereas these ones, they take a parting bead on one side, but the other side is for the weight chamber. That's it. So, the frame is in. There you can see the pulleys at the top there. That's the ones that actually make the uh, 
this window go up and down, the centre window. We're just rubbing down at the moment. Now again, you can see that the pulleys come from, from the left, or the cord comes from the left, over to the right, uh, and then drops down or attaches to the centre sashes. finishing off but basically that's the frame done. Mm -hmm.